Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to give you some things that I completely stopped buying that I don't even miss anymore. And these are all things that I think a lot of us have been buying that I think society makes us believe that we really need in our lives. But as you'll see in this video, you actually don't. And there are some other things that you can buy that can really help you save money in the long term. And a lot of these things are also eco-friendly as well. So it's a win-win situation a win for the environment, but also for your budget as well. And make sure you stay till the end of the video because I'm gonna be sharing an object that you probably haven't seen before, but honestly guys, it is life changing. And actually, let me show you what this object is and you guys let me know in the comments what you think it actually does. So this is the object and it has changed my life. So at the end of the video, I'll tell you guys what this does, but don't forget to let me know in the comments what you think this does. So let's get into the video. So the first thing that I stopped buying is Glad Wrap or Cling Wrap in this case, because you know me, I don't really buy branded goods, especially when I don't need to. And the reason why I stopped buying it is because I found this eco-friendly alternative which are called beeswax wrap. And these beeswax wraps are actually reusable and washable. So you simply run them over cold water when you are finished using them. And it basically works exactly the same way as Glad Wrap does. So you pretty much just wrap your food in it. You can also wrap like bowls of food and put them in the fridge. And they don't last forever. They do last up to a year. But that's a year of not buying cling wrap or glad wrap, which is a good thing in my opinion, because I think that any way that we can try to reduce the amount of plastic that we are putting out into this world is a good way. And this has been such a good little eco-friendly and also saving money hack for me. They only costed $12 and I'll be able to use them probably for a few years and I'll make sure that I do take really good care of them. And another thing that I stopped paying for is likes on my YouTube videos. So when I first started my YouTube channel, I had to pay my friends to watch and like my videos. But since you guys have been so amazing and you've been watching and liking my videos, I don't have to pay my friends to like the video anymore. So make sure you give this video a like so I can save money. Now that you've liked this video, I'll share the next thing that I stopped buying and that is paper towels. And I have this really good alternative, which is this. And this is actually a reusable paper towel, but it's actually made from bamboo. And I'm not actually lying here, this stuff is actually better than paper towels. It's way more absorbent and it cleans a lot better. And the great thing about this is they are reusable and you can actually machine wash them, which is amazing. You'll be able to buy something which you can reuse over multiple times by washing it in your washing machine. So the next thing that I stopped buying is convenience food. And what I mean by convenience food is food that I eat and I get from Uber Eats because I'm too lazy to cook. And instead, I've actually bought really, really easy frozen meals. So I buy dumplings and frozen dumplings and I just put them in my freezer. I also have things like ravioli as well. And these are things that I can use when I'm too lazy to cook instead of going to Uber Eats and buying like a $25 meal. And if you do really, really need convenience food and you don't have anything that you can easily warm up and you are too lazy to cook, another suggestion that I do have is actually going directly to the takeaway shop and buying it takeaway instead of going through Uber Eats because Uber Eats does charge a fee for the delivery driver and they also charge a fee to the restaurant as well. So by going directly to the restaurant, you'll be saving money on that driver's fee and you'll also be supporting the shop owner more as well because the full price of your order goes directly to the restaurant. So another thing that I stopped buying is $4 coffees from cafes. So I used to go to a cafe and I used to buy a coffee every single day, but I've since bought this coffee machine and this coffee grinder. It costed me about $500 to buy both of them, but it's honestly so worth it because I make my coffee every single day. And by doing this, I'm saving $1,500 per year. So this easily pays for the price of my coffee machine, the coffee beans and the milk for the whole year. And another thing that has helped me save money is this keep cup. 
because whenever I am going to work or going out somewhere for the day and I don't have enough time to drink my coffee at home, I usually put my coffee in this keep cup. So that also removes that temptation to not make my coffee at home and just buy a coffee when I'm outside. Another thing that has also helped me save money is having a reusable drink bottle. I've bought a lot of reusable drink bottles in the past and because they've been kind of steel and you can't really see inside, sometimes they can get a little bit dirty inside and just not the best. So I do like having a clear reusable drink bottle so then I can easily see when it needs a wash and clean it in my dishwasher. So this helps me save money on bottled water and as we all know, bottled water isn't very good for the environment. So by having a reusable drink bottle that I bring everywhere, I'm saving money and I'm also helping the environment as well. And another thing which has helped me save money is these reusable drinking straws. And these are good because instead of buying plastic straws or even paper straws that I can only really use once, I can use these metal straws which I can reuse so many times. And when I'm finished with them, I simply put them in the dishwasher and clean them that way. And another thing which I stopped buying is disposable masks. And instead I have this reusable mask which I put in the washing machine. I know that sometimes if you do have a job or you do need to have those disposable masks. It might be a bit more hygienic, but for me personally, I don't really need those disposable masks and I can easily just use this reusable mask. So now let's go to the bathroom and I'll show you some other things which I stopped buying and my replacements for them. Okay, so now we're in my bathroom. I'm actually going to renovate the bathroom with my boyfriend soon. So if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, make sure you do subscribe so that you do see that bathroom renovation video. I'm super super excited because we actually have bought all of the things that we're going to use to renovate the bathroom and also make sure that you are following me on Instagram because I'll be doing a lot of stories and unique content for Instagram breaking down all the costs for the bathroom renovation. I'm super excited because we've already bought all of the things and I think it's going to look really amazing. So make sure you stay tuned for those videos. So another thing which I've stopped buying is soap. And no, I don't mean that I've stopped cleaning myself. I mean that I stopped buying soap in those plastic containers and instead I'm using this reusable soap dispenser and buying liquid soap that I can dispense into this. So this is eco-friendly and it also helps me save money. And it just looks better. I also stopped buying cotton makeup wipes, which I used pretty much every day to take off my makeup. And instead I'm using these pads which are reusable. So I simply just run them over some water and use this to clean my face and my makeup off. And they're really amazing and really affordable as well. So now let's see what this thing actually does. And do you guys know what it does yet? Let me know down in the comments below what you think it does and I will show you. So this thing is actually what I use instead of using a toilet brush. And I'll show you how it works. So it's actually got water inside that you can easily just refill. And ta -da! look, it just like sprays water and um, yeah, it can clean your toilet. Pretty cool, hey? Let me know down in the comments if you got it right and if that's what you actually thought this was. So those are all of the things which I stopped buying in order to save money and the replacements that I found for them. What kind of things have you stopped buying in order to save money? I would love to know down in the comments below. And if you did like this video, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos about investing and personal finance. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. And if you'd like to see some more videos, I've put some links to some videos here. So make sure you click the links and click through to another video.